Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing this week in love we have their feelings the two of swords their intentions we have the world their next actions and behaviors towards you we have the page of cups your feelings towards this person we have the knight of pentacles The challenge between the two of you. We have the Six of Swords. And the potential outcome. We have the Five of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Death card. I'm going to be honest, Taurus, I do feel like this is a past person that we're reading about today. Um, the signs that I'm seeing so far for you guys, we have Scorpio, we have Libra, Aquarius, all the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Lib Leo, and who did I miss? Aquarius. Then we have the Page of Cups, so we have Pisces. We have Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo Energy. So those are the signs that I'm seeing for you guys, but it could be any, okay? It is a general reading. Just because I didn't call that sign that you're the person you're dealing with doesn't mean that this reading cannot resonate for you, okay? But I do feel like there's somebody here that you guys have had an ending with, and I feel like you've been trying your best to you know, make it a, a step into a space of acceptance or just try your best to deal with it or move forward, um, you know, with this energy. But we have this eight of wands. I do feel like there is going to be communication coming in and it's right underneath that here. Now, I feel like somebody's in this space right now, the person that you're dealing with, I feel like they're kind of feeling a little bit indecisive here. Some of that could be pride or ego. Some of it's just not feeling clear about what they want or what's best for them. On the bottom of this card here, it says, wake up to what you truly want. So very indecisive energy. That's how they're feeling. Some of you guys could definitely live at a distance from this person. Some of you guys, it could be a big distance. Maybe you guys are from different countries. Um, for others of you, you know, maybe it's just a smaller distance, but I definitely feel that for some of you. I um, mean, you have the World card and the Six of Swords right on top of each other. Both can be cards of travel. And the World card definitely can be long distance as well. Now, some of you guys, maybe that is part of the challenge here. Some of you guys may live at a distance from this person. There could be physical distance and space between the two of you. Others, maybe it's metaphorical. You know, maybe there's just been a lot of space and distance. Maybe you guys have been in separation from this person for quite some time. Now with this world card, I almost feel like they're wanting to kind of put this past behind you guys and almost like start a brand new chapter. Now we are going to clarify these here in a moment, but with the six of swords being the challenge, whatever card is in the challenge, it almost puts it in the reverse. One, like I said, there could be physical distance um, in between you. There could be delays in being able to see each other or communicate with each other or, or like, you know, in person. Uh, for others of you where it's not the distance, you know, the six of swords can just talk about not being able to move on when it comes up in the reverse. So, you know, I feel like maybe both of you have been trying to move on from this and are realizing that you can't or realizing that you haven't yet. Let's put it like that. Now you have this page of cups energy here for their next action. To me, I do feel like I do feel like this is that communication pages are messengers it can be an apology or just an expression of emotion. Um, it could be something that is, you know, a little bit lighthearted initially with that page being here. But it says, I think you will be surprised. I think you're going to be surprised to hear from this person in general. I also feel like you're just going to be surprised, you know, all the way around what this person says, hearing from them. It says, let yourself be continually surprised by this thing called life. That's what it says at the bottom. So I do feel like you're going to be surprised to hear from this person. Right now, it's like things have been at a standstill. That's how you're showing up here with this Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to figure out what you're going to do next. Because um, I feel like a lot of you guys have been waiting on this person to come back around. But I feel like you're recognizing that, you know, letting go is hard, but waiting is hard too. Holding on is hard too. And I feel like you're in this space of like, well, what, what do I do next? Like, what's next for me? You know, do I continue to be here and hope and wait for this? Or do I start to try to move forward? I've tried to move forward and I haven't been able to so far. Um, and just feeling like things are kind of stuck or standstill. Now, your potential outcome, you have the five of wands. 
So I do feel like, to me it looks like there could be a little bit of a conflict coming up between the two of you, but we're gonna clarify this in a moment. We're gonna start to get into this. So tell me about this Two of Swords energy. Tell me about this Two of Swords energy. Why is that their feelings for Taurus? You got the Three of Pentacles. You know, can we make this work? Three of Pentacles is a card of getting on the same page, getting along, working together to build the same thing. Like, can we do that? Do we want the same things? Can this work? Can we work together? Can we get past whatever's happened here? Is there still potential for that? Maybe that's what they're indecisive about here. Tell me about this world energy. Why is that their intention? We have the Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Wow. Because they feel like you are their divine counterpart. They feel like that's why they have not been able to move on from this connection. I feel like they're finally starting to understand what this connection is. You know, uh, I feel like they're realizing that they haven't been able to move on from it. And they're seeing why that is. Uh, on this world card I'm drawn to, there's all these butterflies around her. And butterflies represent change and transformation. This is a huge one. I'm not sure I've ever seen a, a transformation like this or a change like this. Divine counterparts, king and queen of pentacles. You know, that's a card of permanence, ready to take it seriously, ready to devote whatever time, effort, and energy into something, into a connection that it's going to take to make something work. To me, I feel like it's not, they're not quite as sure they're not indecisive about, I initially took this as them being indecisive about what they wanted, but I'm not feeling that here now. To me, this indecisive energy feels like they're more indecisive about whether you're going to be willing to or wanting to work on things or how to do it. It's like they they want to do this. They, they feel like you guys can, maybe just don't know how. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords the challenge? I've never seen a turnaround in a person's energy like this before, Taurus. We have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. There could have been some self-sabotaging behaviors or some dishonesties or things like that in the past that they're worried that you're still holding on to. Four of Pentacles holds on really tightly to things. They could feel like there's going to be distrust here. And maybe that's why they're so worried. You know, that's why they're so indecisive. They're not sure if you guys can get through this because I feel like they could feel like there's a lot to get through. They could feel like there's a lot that you're still holding on for, maybe a lot that you're angry about or a lot that you resent them for. There's a lot to get past with that Six of Swords. Tell me about this Page of Cups energy. Why is this Page of Cups here? We have the Six of Cups. I'm wanting to get back to the way it used to be. It's reminding me of this song called City or by City and Color, and it's called The Way It Used to Be. And I feel like that this person just wants to get back to the way it used to be when things were good between the two of you. Give me one more for that page of cups, please. There's also a, a sweetness to this. You know, there's a, there's a sweetness to the six of cups. He's giving flowers, like it's soulmate energy. There's, it's just a beautiful sweetness to it. We have this nine of cups here too. You know, wishing for something, wish fulfillment, contentment, happiness, satisfaction. Tell me about this. I feel like we need to clarify this five of wands. Why is the five of wands the potential outcome? Why is the five of wands the potential outcome here? Because this looks beautiful. Why are we getting, I mean, I see that there's a lot of stuff to work through here, um, but it looks lovely. And I feel like you guys can, look, you just have this, oh, we, we got this temperance card fell out here. The temperance card is a card of transformation. It's the alchemical process, you know, but that takes time. It's a process. It's going to take time to work through um, these things, but I feel like with the temperance coming out, you guys can work through them. It's out with this five of wands, clarifying this five of wands. So it, to me, this says that you're going to have to get onto the same page. There could definitely be some conflict or some arguments or some tense moments when you guys come back together because of everything that's happened. And because I feel like there are some hurts, there are some resentments. I feel, Taurus, there could be a lot that you're holding on to. Um, and, you know, this is, it's very much for the fixed signs. I'm not a Taurus, but I am a Scorpio. I am a fixed sign, and I know how we can hold on to things. My brother is a Taurus, and I will tell you, he will hold on to 
he is a professional holding on to things person. So I know how you guys can be sometimes, but I just feel like there's just been a lot here, okay? Um, I feel like Spirit is saying that in order to in order to work through these things, in order to bring this connection back into balance, it's going to, instead of having to fight each other, you're going to have to fight together towards the problem. So it's not me versus you, and you did this, and I did this, and, and, and that. It's it's us versus the problem. You're going to have to fight together in order to, in order to get through this. But I feel like you can. Okay, there's definitely with his divine counterparts here and the temperance popping up, there's definitely an energy of divinity here. Um, there's definitely an energy of divine. There's an energy of meant to be um, in all in its time. And sometimes the things that we have to go through, we have to go through for a reason. So this is, I feel like this person is finally understanding what this connection is. And I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but it does look like it could be worth it. But that is what I have for you, Taurus. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements, everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part. Thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.